Welcome to ABT's next epic brim venue in Tasmania. It's the Huon River. The trial event went spectacularly. This is how we caught our fish for Team Fishing Monthly. First up on the duo Realis ADSP jerkbaits. Not the world's smallest brim to start, but you better not be in the limit at the end of the day. It's on the Realis. Need net, you reckon? Well, you've got the biggest fish in the boat for the day, I reckon. That was actually out wide. Out wide? Yep. <sighs> Choked it. In all of Tasmania, shallow jerk baits are my go to for the high tide when it floods the banks, especially if there's a bit of rock, oyster, or mussels on them. Um, today, fishing it on a heavier rod with braid and leader, but normally I'd fish straight through fluorocarbon. That feels like a better one. Oh, some head shakes. Yeah, this is a lot. Oh, back that drag off. It's got rack drag from Swan Port on it. Yeah, it's on the Realis again. This is just another one like we were getting yesterday. Yeah, I'll let him. He's not getting off. That's a proper one. Proper one. Do you want to do a glory pick on that one? With the lure. It's on the Realis 80. Okay, this snag's going to have some in it. Let's do it. There he was. It's called muscling him out of the snag. Not very big. Number five though. Oh, I like it when they take the drag. Oh, that big is hooked in the guts. I'll upgrade something though. Hey, it's only about a 30. Oh no, maybe he's bigger than that. One of those Tasmanian ones that grows, grows in the well on the duo Realis again. Five, six, five. No, what was the smallest? Twenty-six to a thirty-four oh, well, seven and a half centimeter upgrade. So 26 is about 400 grams, 34 is about 800 grams. That's a 400 gram upgrade. It's safe to say that the high tide is good down here. I'm glad actually using the heavy jerkbait rod this morning so I'm not dicking around on two pounds. 
We'll do that later in the day when they get hard. Yeah, there's another low 30s. Marialis 80. Channeling the Spono Karma in this event. Not only did we get a bait for free, for you. All right, let's catch them on off this point. There have been real patches along here, haven't they? So there's been nothing, 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 heaps, nothing, nothing, heaps. This point looks good, though. A lot of rock and oyster on it. There it is on the rock and oyster. This could be a good one. Got the head shaky going on. It's going to upgrade something, that thing. One. Oh yeah. That's the proper one. Choked it. Now on the surface it looks like I'm fishing a jerk bait here. The technique is nearly the same. I'm throwing that uh, on straight through fluorocarbon though, right in, not right onto the edge, but into about a foot and a half to two feet of water, letting it sink a little bit, and then it's just rip, 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 rip pause rip 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 pause and they always eat it on the pause oh i'm a sticky just making a little bit more finesse now by this time the tide had started dropping off the rocks and you can see there's absolutely no wind so the finesse means i'm going to the three pound straight through fluorocarbon a smaller bait to extend that early morning high tide bite time. I'll braid the 29, I think. Do you concur? Might be a 32 or something. 34. No, about second or third cast of the stick, you know. Nice long sucker, that one. This is a port where I got a limited about eight casts. <laughs> Maybe we touched them up a bit hard yesterday on here. Hey. Yeah, didn't come here to just leave them, leave them alone. How about a sticky that just ate it on the drop? We'll get rid of a 32 now. It's actually not that big. It's just excitable. What do we got to upgrade to 32? I don't, think, I don't know if this is going to do it. No, oh, it's getting bigger as it's getting closer. The sticky in his crab hole.
There goes a, oh, look at him racing out. Look at him. He's, all he's doing is racing outwards. I hope he's a big one. See how quick he went out? Went from the bank to the other side of the boat in about three seconds. That's just one of those Lennox salmon. No, it's a brim. They all do it. They all hit in the shallows and they just run into the deep water. Just another Tasmanian special, which we caught five of these every day on the Gold Coast. You win every tournament. In Tassie, we'll get you midfield. All right. I've only seen one fish eat on the life scope so far, like the fish are still still shallow. Not seeing them off the edge of the banks. I can see one there now. So I'm going to put it on his head. 45 foot out. Oh, there's a whole pack of them there. Holy mackerel. If they see that lure, something's in trouble. Oh, yep, clunk. <laughs> that was definitely live scoped. There's a whole pack of them in there. There's about 10 there, I reckon. That's the same pack I reckon we caught them out of yesterday. Tassie brim, they don't learn. Well, we've got two nets. I don't know, he's racing off. That's oh, a three pound line, that's one. That's the one on the sticky. I don't think it's going to be good enough, but I know Nicole, yours might be all right. Although everyone we caught out of there yesterday was 33. There's Will and Zabby. Mm. I'm, I'm confident that I like that they're coming here to upgrade. Come on, be a big one. Oh, he's got a shake on him. That one's got a head shake. Yeah, he looks a bit bigger, this one. That little look I just saw of him then. Not a 40, but it's not a 30. It's just cranky about that stick minnow in his face. He's shaking his head. It's a nice one. 33 now. This is bigger than that. Oh yeah, that's a proper one. It got smaller, then it got bigger again. That's one of uh, Adam Costa's cheapy stick minnows. I don't know if he's only got any left. Do you want to do the hooks and that stuff, or do you want me to do it for you? Yeah. That was on the uh, the Rosanti from the pack this morning. That's the boat that's in behind that dock around the corner. What have we got now? 498, how far behind are we? Half a kilo, a kilo? It feels like a flathead. Is that all right? No. Well, I would have been ha happy with five kegs today. If we can upgrade to five kegs, that'd be grouse. 
I think it's not it's not small. See, you're good all that barra training, you're very patient with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that thing. A coal. Teammate of the year, 2024. Let's get smaller. He's not out of the water, so let him do one more lap. Like the barra, these eels are still pretty good. <laughs> that a real big one. Look at that. I think he's the biggest one today. That's on the Rosanti again. Look at how long he is. Um, okay. Sorry. Yep, thank you. Got him. Under, underneath. You got him. Proper big one. Yeah, that's nice. Roll his tail around a little. And we caught a few, what do we caught? 20 fish today now, maybe, so far? It's only just slowed down like right now, only because we're re-fishing this point that we fished before. So um, if this doesn't work, we're just gonna run new points. We actually, this is the first spot that we actually fished yesterday. Where we started, I didn't fish that yesterday, but it looked good, so we started there. Got one of the kickers on that. I got two of the kickers on that. Got a 37 and a half and a 36, plus some other little ones. But then we've got two of the other kickers on this point here, and we did fish this yesterday. There's a bite. That was a clunk. Oh, is that a head shake? That one, you just visibly could see the line jump. I don't think it's big. It's just a little one getting excited. But I'm just throwing the stick me now into the edge there and just sort of popping it off the bottom. Later in the day when they come off the edge, I'm going to use my live scope to see where they're at. But at the moment with the water up, I know where they're at. They're up. Flathead. You caught a flathead. Yeah. Anywhere else in Australia, you'd be like, I'm stoked with that. Actually, that's a really long fish. I still reckon it's going to be two centimetres too short, but... Yeah, it needs to be a 30, it's not a 35. All right, there you go. Oh, hey. Yep, and then, what, then what's happening under that? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. So many teams have over four kilos. It's amazing. Top eight teams over four kegs, eh? Nice. Man, this point's got some fish on it. Like all good big black brim, they just swim straight for the deep water. There you go, Adam Costa. I had to put the split rings and hooks on myself and that took forever. It took much less time to actually catch the fish. So I was doing it just the afternoon, trying to put zero size split rings on the stick minnows.
Feel big? You'll wait until you see it, don't you? <laughs> the power poles are down, FYI. Hey, if it's on the business point, they look the business. Can I go close? No, he's a good fish. Nicole's favourite jerk bait. Give it a thumbs up, Nicole. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but if we upgrade one of the 36s, it's definitely yours we're upgrading. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm happy if you end up with all five in the limit. Um, I think Will and that are back down in deep bay. Yeah, I, I think chromo has gone. That's a fish, that's a brim. He's not very big, I don't think. But I have been fooled before. This one's on the stick minnow again. Just tend to be liking that bait fish profile. Caught a lot of fish on the mush yesterday, but I haven't even thrown it today, to be honest. Don't want to unleash the power of the mush too early on the tour. I think he's only a 33. Maybe a 32. Oh, no, he's getting bigger in the net. He's definitely not the size of yours that you just caught. Just no good in Tasmania, these little ones. These little 800 grammers. And just to finish off the part of the day that we live streamed, it was a little bit of inshore structure fishing. We fished the closest boats and pontoons see them to the flats. There. And on the bottom of the tide in <laughs> right. that bright, sunny weather, so they come out. Train, you can see them well? underneath on the live scope and two they eat the muss. Right in between the two blue sponsons. Close enough. Oh, this is all right. Fish this one. Oh, look at them all following him. Just saw there was just a cloud of them. Look at him still following it. Just throw it back in next to the pontoon. I don't think he's gonna feel. It's not gonna be legal. I mean, not gonna be at our limit. He's definitely legal. There you go, on the mass. Should be about a 34. But it's not going to be big enough. Now in situations like this, there are a couple of tools that are really important on your boat. First is a spot lock. And if it's water deeper than that, uh, about six foot, we use spot lock to stay off that spot and throw back in or in the shallow water, it's my two power poles on the back of the boat and they let you have another cast of that fish rich structure and you can pull another one out of that same school. That one definitely ate it and then ran away from the pontoon to get away from all his mates with his prize muscle catch. There's still a pile of them under there. Get out of there, mate. Get out. Get out of there. It's smaller than the last one. Every single one a Gold Coast kicker. <laughs> It's only a pesky little 30. Pesky. 
if you want to check out the full results from the ABT Tasmanian Teams Open, which was our trial event on the Huon River, you can visit www.abt.org.au.